In this video, we're going to start processing our solar images, beginning with Auto Stacker. At this point, you have three images, one of the chromosphere, one of the prominences, and a solar flat. We're going to begin with the solar flat. Click Open and choose the flat. Go to Image Calibration and Create Master Frame. It's going to ask you to name it. You can name it flat. We're going to be saving it as a TIFF file. Down here it's going to creating your flat. And you're good to go. Now let's work with the chromosphere. Open. Choose the chromosphere. And your image will come up. There's not a lot of detail on this. I'm going to pick a spot here and right click on it and I want to analyze it. I want to make sure that improved tracking is also put in, but we need to add the flat. So go up to image calibration and load master flat. The picture got a little bit darker and it gave a nice even flat field across it and took care of any dust that was there. Let's analyze. I'm going to stop the video while it works through this process. So it's done the first part. The first two items are already checked off. What AutoStacker does is it's going to take all those thousand images that you took and arrange them from the best to the worst. It's also going to shift them and stack them one on top of the other. Right now, we really want to make sure we're ready for that stacking point. So we need a reference image. And we're going to place the AP grid on. Now, there's 1,934 of these. Actually, that's not enough. I'm going to clear that up. And let's start with 24. Let's see what happens there. I'm looking for between four to 6,000. This is 5,625. That looks good. That's a lot of points. So it really is a good reference area. I want this to be a TIFF. I'm going to frame 20% of them. I'm looking at this graph. Realistically, anything above the 50% mark is good. And we have a lot of good images here, but 20% is gonna be fine. I'm not going to change any of the other settings, and I'm going to click Stack. This will take a few moments as it begins to process and go through. So I'll pause the video once again. And we're done. At this point, we're going to save it. It already has the date and the time. Chromosphere. I'm going to save it as a TIFF file, not a ping. and it's saved. Let's take a look at the prominences. And as you can see, we've got some good prominences right over in this area. So I'm going to control click on one of them. That'll be our reference point. The flat field is already applied. We can clear it if we want to. And you notice it shifts and changes it a little bit, but not too much. I think I want to keep it. Let's load the flat back in. You may want the flat for the prominences, you may not. In a perfect world, you do. In some cases, however, it's not really going to be advantageous. And I'll show you how you can tell as we process it. So let's begin that process. Click Analyze. And I'm going to pause the recording while we work through our first two. Okay, now we're set. We're going to place the AP grid in again. has about 9,000, which is way too many, but it's down here on the surface of the sun as well, and I don't want that. I only want it covering the prominences in the dark area up here, and that's part of the problem with flats. So let's try it without the flat field, and let's see what the AP grid looks like. 
We're going to open up again. Choose our prominence. Clear the dark frame that's through the flat field. And we'll analyze it once again. And we'll pause. All right, let's put the AP grid on again, and now we'll see what happens. This is without the flat field. And that's exactly what I want. That's perfect. And about 4,700 frames, 20% TIFF, let's stack. And we're done. So save file, save stack as, and we're going to call this one prom. We want to make sure we're saving it as a TIFF. And that's all there is to it. Our next step is Registax, and I'll see you there.